In today's lesson, we will examine a new verb tense, the present continuous tense. This is also called the present progressive tense. We will talk about how the present continuous tense is used and how to form it. For this video, you will need your note-taking sheet and a pencil or pen. Are you ready? Let's look at this picture. What are the children doing? They are playing catch the ball in the sea. A girl is swimming. A boy is sleeping on the beach. They are smiling. Two girls are playing beach tennis. The boy isn't talking on his phone. He is collecting shells. They aren't eating. They aren't shopping. When we want to talk about what someone or something is doing right now at the time of speaking, we use the present continuous tense. All of these sentences tell us what the children are doing now. They all use the present continuous tense. We can also use the present continuous tense to talk about longer actions that are happening nowadays. This means that they are happening right now, or today, this week, this month, this year, these days, and so on. For example, this student is studying English at secondary school. She is studying English right now. Now, this student is studying English at a university. He isn't studying right now. He is playing football right now. However, he is studying English nowadays. Today, this week, this month, etc. So, let's summarize. We use the present continuous tense for actions that are happening at the time of speaking and for longer actions that are happening nowadays. So, how do we form the present continuous tense? This is a very good question. The present continuous tense has two parts. The helping verb be, which is am, is, and are, and a verb plus ing. The verb plus ing is called the present participle. For example, eating, swimming, playing, and reading. Now, let's look at this table. This table explains how to make sentences with present continuous tense. First, we start with a subject, such as I, you, he, she, they. But remember, the subject can be a noun as well, such as Mr. Smith, Abu Dhabi, or the cafeteria. After the subject comes the helping verb and the present participle. Then everything else comes at the end. So, on our table, we can make positive sentences like I am listening to music. You are listening to music. She is listening to music. They are listening to music. Notice that the helping verb agrees with the subject. So we say, I am, she is, they are. We can also make negative sentences like, I am not watching television. You are not watching television. He is not watching television. 
and so on. Now, let's look at some specific examples. For each one, let's underline the subject and highlight the verb. In this case, the verb will be both the helping verb and the present participle. Look at the sentences on your note-taking sheet. Let's work together. You will need a pen and a highlighter. Are you ready? Example 1. I am living in Abu Dhabi these days. I am not living in Dubai. In example 1, the subject of the first sentence is I. The verb is am living. The subject of the second sentence is also I. The verb is, am not living. It is negative. This example shows what I am doing nowadays. It shows a longer action. Example 2. He is watching television now. He isn't reading a book. In example 2, the subject of the first sentence is he, and the verb is, is watching. The subject of the second sentence is he, and the verb is, isn't reading. Remember, he, she, and it use is or isn't as a helping verb. Look at example three. Can you underline the subject in each sentence? Can you highlight the verb? Take a few seconds. Okay, let's check your answers. The subject of both sentences is they. The verbs are are playing and aren't swimming. They are playing football. They aren't swimming. Let's try one more. The cat is drinking milk. It isn't sleeping. Now, underline the subjects and highlight the verbs. In the first sentence, the cat is the subject. And the verb is, is drinking. In the next sentence, it is the subject and isn't sleeping is the verb. Now you know what the present continuous tense is, when you can use it, and how you can form it. The present continuous tense tells us about actions that are happening now. So we can only use the present continuous tense with action verbs like run, study, work, sleep, and play. We can't use non-action verbs in the present continuous tense. These are verbs such as like, prefer, love, hate, want, and need. These verbs don't show actions. They show feelings and wants. Verbs that show thoughts or ideas are also non-action verbs. 
These include know, mean, understand, believe, remember, and forget. The verb have is a tricky verb. We can say, I am having breakfast now. Having breakfast means the same as eating breakfast. It is an action, so we can use the present continuous. In the same way, we can say, I am having a bath, and I'm having a nap. However, we cannot say, I am having five people in my family. In this case, have shows possession. How many people belong in your family? It's not an action. It's a true fact. So we use the present simple tense. And this is the end of the lesson on the present continuous tense. Remember, you can watch this video as many times as you like. Good luck with your studies and goodbye for now.